guys, my name is Eddie. Welcome to Tech Reviews 135. Today, we're going to be reviewing this processor from AMD. This is the FX6350 Black Edition. So, the box, um, if you've seen my FX6200, the box hasn't changed much at all. It still says AMD FX Processor Black Edition down there. Um, the Black Edition is unlocked, so you'll be able to overclock that in the BIOS. You have a view of the processor on that little side window there, or I can get that. And then you have AF AMD FX Processor Black Edition. I'm going to try and get the camera to focus. It's doing a poor job. A very poor job. This is bad. Um, AMD FX Processor Black Edition. Come on. Alright, well, I'll just move on to something else. The back of the box. So included, as it says, you get the processor. Well, oh wait, I had it. I had it. Oh, this box includes an AMD processor installation instructions, limited warranty information, and a thermal solution designed for use in a desktop PC. Let's see if I can get it to focus on this again. Whoa, cash. AMD FX processor black edition. Experience supercharged, responsive gameplay and mega multitasking performance featuring unlocked and overclockable processor and AMD Turbo Core technology. And I need to cut this a sticker. All right, I'm back. And I finally, I got it cut open. It is it is made of titanium, but once you get past the little edge of the sticker, it cut right through, which is pretty amazing, I think. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, it's a pretty amazing sticker. All right. So, so I got the processor. You have a case badge that says AMD FX Unlocked. The graphic is different from the FX6200, probably because it's two years old. So we have that. I'm talking about the 6200 being two years old, not this. It's brand new. And you have the installation guide here and the different sockets. And a whole bunch more detailed information that I won't get into right now. Probably never. Know what I'm doing. And then you have the heat sink, stock heat sink. Now for the 6350, um, using the stock heat sink is just fine. If you're going to go for something like a uh, 8350, um, I'd recommend getting a um, better heat sink or a uh, water cooling loop. But the stock heat sink for the 6350 is just fine. So you have the fan here. I think it's 80 millimeters diagonally. I don't have something to measure it right now. Yes, some pre-applied thermal paste. My cat is trying to get in the way. So we have some pre-applied thermal paste. And you have some direct contact heat pipes. So you have this copper plate right here. And four heat pipes that will go across into the fin array to disperse the heat. And then the fan blows down on it. So just make sure you have adequate uh, ventilation in your case. And that'll do it. This is a four-pin fan connector. Uh, you can fit this on a three pin fan connector if you want to. So that's going to wrap up this review of the FX 6350. Um, let me get to the clock speed actually. I believe the clock speed is uh, 3.9 gigahertz, 3.8, 3.9 gigahertz. And um, the turbo clock speed I believe is 4 gigahertz, which isn't as much because the uh, 6200 had a clock speed of 3.8 gigahertz and a turbo clock of 4.2 but granted this is a different architecture so it probably performs better without an overclock so thank you for watching if you like this video please click the like button and uh, i'll have a annotation to show you how much this costs and a link in the description to where you can purchase this product um and i do believe that's it so i will see you in the next video